that's it. I had it with these motherfucking sharks in this motherfucking sea. I'm Samuel goddamn motherfucking Jackson. Hold on your butts. Hello there YouTube and welcome to, well welcome back to Shark Week on Random Horror. There we go, that's better. So, today I'm, well, I mean it's night time but by the time I'm going to get a chance to do this. So, uh, in this one I'm reviewing Deep Blue Sea, as you get from the intro already. Directed by Rennie Harling. Uh, starring Serana Saffron Bur Burrows. I'm gonna butcher that name if I keep trying. Uh, Thomas Jane, LL Cool J, uh, Jacqueline, uh, yeah, Jacqueline McKenzie, um, Michael Rapport. Stellan Skarsgård and Samuel Jackson. So this is a film uh, focused on a research facility in the middle of the ocean where they get um, where they genetically enhance sharks in an attempt to enlarge their brains to make a cure for Alzheimer's and many other brain conditions. The only thing is they do succeed but the bad thing is it, it makes the sharks clever and they become genetically mutated aggressive sharks um, so this um, film uh, this film is probably one of the very rare films where the great white shark isn't the main antagonist no uh, this one they are genetically enhanced mako sharks now, of course, Mako sharks are the fastest and deadliest sharks in the world. So, with them being genetically enhanced to be bigger and smarter, that makes it even deadlier. So, in fact, that's even the tagline, faster, smarter, deadlier, I think. It's like them three words. So, anyway, um, what happens is... Oh, it's working again. So, what happens is... Um, Susan, who's a research woman, uh, she's the scientist working on the cure for Alzheimer's. Samuel Jackson, I don't know what his role is in this, but I know he's some guy uh, who dies very soon, very too soon into the film. Yeah, I went. I mean, his death was also avoidable. Uh, along with Stellan Skarsgård, his death too was avoidable. Yeah, there was. There's so many avoidable deaths in this film. First one being the guard, Stellan Skarsgård's character standing close to the shark you know, when it's under and then it moves and bites his arm off. Then next thing Samuel Jackson standing by that pool and getting dragged in the water by the shark and bit in half. You know, so it all goes tits up. The sharks flood the whole facility because they get that clever and they start picking them off one by one, eating them. Um, so what did I like? Let's get down to the likes and dislikes. I liked um, the story. I liked the the you know the tension, the suspense, the thrill. Um, I liked LL Cool J's performance in it as the chef with the parrot. Uh, the parrot definitely gave us some comedic humour. Shame it got eaten though by one of the sharks. Um, also, another scene which I thought was quite hilarious was when the shark switched on the oven when LL Cool J was hiding inside um, but still he outsmarted that shark and blew it up uh, another thing I like was Thomas Jean how his character um, Carter um, you know was a fast swimmer dodged the sharks and everything um, yeah and I also like the effects for its time I mean the effects may not be as groundbreaking as they are now, but this was done at the end of the 90s. Um, 
I remember watching this with my parents when I was really young. Uh, looking at it, it was a 15 rated film, R rated. Um, but yeah, I watched it. I didn't really take any of the swearing or whatever, if there was any in it. Uh, I just, just I, you know, when I was little, I was fascinated by sharks. I still am now. That's why I'm doing Shark Week on here. Um, other likes. Uh, I liked, um, you know, how the sharks were smart, but not too smart. They were a bit dumb in some areas. Um, I also liked LL Cool J. You know, he was a he was a fast thinker. You know, he didn't. You know, he, he like put up a fight against the sharks, and um, you know, even when the massive Maku got him, he managed to gouge its eye with his little cross he was wearing. Yeah, it was a good film. I enjoy it. My dislikes, uh, are, well, I've mentioned them already. Like some of them are avoidable, which I've just said some are. Another avoidable death is when like, Susan, Susan, that character, cuts her hand to attract the shark to stop her from getting out of the facility. Because if she does, all hell will break loose. And she goes in the water and she could have just bled it out and lured the shark to it, but no, she went in the water and next thing she got go go gobbled up in one gulp. Um, the uh, but Another thing that I liked is they didn't kill the sharks in the same way. They killed them up. Killed them in different varieties. One got blew up by the gas. Another one electrocuted. And another one blown up. Yeah, three sharks. Three. Miku. So um, yeah, this was um, a fairly decent shark film. Uh, this was probably the last one they did. Before they st before Asylum started making you know, wonderfully shit ones, but you know with the success of the Shallows and Forty Seven Meters Down and that, which we will review this uh, week, um, you know I think shark movies are getting back in. You know the trend and everything. So yeah, uh, Deep Blue Sea, great story, great film. I liked it as a kid. I still like it now, just like Jaws. So with all that being said, I am giving. Um, you know, deep blue sea um, for yeah uh, now I'm gone yeah for bitten in half Samuel Jackson's out of five that's been my review on deep blue sea uh, but you know if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up share don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell all my social media links are down below in the description so until next time don't have nightmares. Is there anything else you need to add? Social media links down below. Facebook. Twitter. <laughs>